Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Viewfind Plus heads up display. In this video I'm going to go over their features and see if they are suitable for FPV flying. The reason I decided to review the Viewfind Plus is because a few months ago I reviewed the JJRC FPV 003 and I thought that it's pretty overpriced and I wasn't really impressed with the quality of this wearable display in addition, its biggest issue is that it doesn't have an HDMI input and the Wolfram Plus does have one, but you should note that it doesn't have an internal receiver, so you're going to be dependent on an external HDMI source. In terms of specs, the resolution of the screen is 960 by 540, so it's much superior than the resolution of the FPV 003, which is only 428 by 240. And in addition, the built-in 300mAh battery should last for about 90 minutes, whereas the replaceable battery of the FPV 003 can last for only 20 minutes. Before showing you what you're getting inside the package, there are a few important things that you should know about this wearable display. First of all, it's only suitable for the right eye, so you won't be able to flip the display and use it on your left one. Second of all, and more important, it only works with 720p signal, and if you are going to connect it to a device that outputs at 1080p, it's just not going to work. And finally, it doesn't have any wireless capabilities. The reason I stated that it's important to note that it's only compatible with 720p devices is because the first device I tested this wearable display with is the first FPV docking, and since the HDMI model outputs at 1080p, it just refused to work. In addition, if you are a DJI user and you plan to fly a drone using this wearable display, there is a good chance you will need to use a signal converter. So now after this introduction, let's see what you're getting inside. First of all, you can find the Viewfind Plus wearable display, the instructions manual, a full-size HDMI to micro HDMI cable, a USB to micro USB cable for charging the built-in battery of the Viewfind Plus, adapters for using the Viewfind Plus heads-up display with your glasses, and finally, non-prescription glasses in case you don't wear ones. In case you don't wear glasses and you don't want to use the Viewfind Plus with these non-prescription glasses, you can get this Pro mount, which you can purchase separately. Mounting the Viewfind Plus heads-up display unit on the glasses is done using the docking station and the docking station plus accessories. So over here you can find a magnetic part, so you can simply attach and deattach the heads-up display and the docking station plus accessory will also enable you to adjust the heads-up display in this manner. In case you are using a thin frame such as this one, you can use this provided adapter which will enable you to properly secure the dock station and the dock station plus adapters. So you'll have to place it like that, then mount the dock station plus or the dock station units. And as you can see, now the Viewfind Plus heads up display are properly secured. You should also note that in order to align the screen with your eyes properly, you can also adjust this part. As I mentioned before, you can also use the Viewfind Plus heads up display without the need of glasses, but you will have to buy this accessory separately. And basically this Velcro strap wraps around your head and then you can place the Viewfind Plus heads-up display in this bay and adjust it to your eyes like that. You can also use it in conjunction with glasses and actually in my experience it's more comfortable than attaching the heads-up display on the frame of the glasses. However, of course, this solution is more bulky and will probably attract even more attention than having the goggles just mounted on the frame of the glasses. Now I'm going to connect the Viewfind Plus to the HDMI output of my computer. So over here you can find a micro HDMI connector and next to it a micro USB connector for charging the device. After plugging in the micro HDMI connector, we can turn on the device by short pressing the power button. Then the blue LED indicator is going to flash until it's going to find the signal. And now as you can see, the LED indicator has turned solid blue and we can see the video on the screen. Short pressing the power button is going to toggle between three available display modes. So you can switch between standard, zoom and fit modes. The standard is going to display the entire image on your screen while cropping the 
top and the bottom parts. The zoom is going to zoom in to the image while maintaining the aspect ratio. And the fit is going to display the entire image on your screen while squashing the image. So let me show you how it looks. This is the standard mode. So you can see the top and the bottom parts are cropped. This is the zoom mode. So you can see the video is displayed on the entire screen. However, we cannot see the left and the right parts. And this is the fit mode. So we can see the entire screen. However, as you can see, the image is squashed. Overall, I can tell you that both the quality and the design of the ViewFine Plus are pretty impressive. And if you compare it to the JJRC FV003, I can tell you that the ViewFine Plus is much more comfortable to wear. And in addition, and more important, the screen quality is much better. And I can compare it to the FetchLock HDO, because even though the resolution of the screen is just a little bit smaller, the field of view is smaller as well. Unfortunately, for FPV flying, I can't recommend getting the ViewFind Plus, mainly because it's going to be hard for you to connect it to an FPV receiver. I already told you that it's not compatible with the HDMI module of the Furious FPV Dock King, and the only solution that I found is to connect an OTG FPV receiver to a computer, and then using the HDMI port of the computer, output the video feed to the ViewFind Plus. This solution is of course far from ideal because it's not very portable, and the second issue that I have with this device is that in my personal experience, it's not very comfortable to fly FPV using a single eye. And I know in some places you are obligated to fly line of sight and then this device can be useful. But again, in my personal experience, it's not very comfortable, at least for FPV racing. But on the other hand, for flying DJI products, for example, I think that this device can be pretty useful. In my opinion, the ViewFind Plus is going to be probably most appealing for photographers because they can connect it to a camera and then use the wearable display as a viewfinder and also for developers because it can be connected to a Raspberry Pi. I'm going to wrap up this review by showing you some video of the internal screen and as you're about to see, the quality is pretty impressive. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the ViewFind Plus, Feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.